There ain't nothing like waking up too early at my mom's house. Cause every wall's paper thin and my family talks too loud. But I do the same, it's just how we're raised. But I feel just as right across state lines in my downtown apartment. I can barely afford the concrete floors and the limited parking. But I can't see myself anywhere else. This light is going to Oh, yeah, be you're, you're a silhouette. You look like you were in witness protection or something. Okay. There you go. Now we're better. Hello there. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Say hello to our mutual yeah. friend, Sierra, for me. I'll, I'll show you this. <laughs> oh, my God, my girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's crushing it. She's <clears throat> crushing it. Lee Ritchie keeping you company. It's Bigfoot Country Radio, and I am just so happy to be talking to a new artist, Curb Recording Artist, Hannah Ellis. Hello, Hannah. How are you, Lee? Thanks so much for having me today. My gosh, it's a pleasure. It's uh, it's good to chat. There's so many things to congratulate you about. <laughs> Number one, I think first so and foremost, funny. you're a newlywed. Yes. As you can see over my shoulder here, the photos have finally made the wall. <laughs> yeah, did I now did I see a picture somewhere of you and your husband feeding each other oysters? Yes. So we are both big we are both big food and wine fans. And so um we actually have a friend that's a oyster farmer up in Rhode Island and forever ago he was like, Hey, if you need oysters for your wedding and I was like, You shouldn't have said that unless you meant it. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And so we ended up having we ended up having him bring his oysters down, and he uh, shucked them and served them at the wedding. And we both know how to shuck them, so it was it was a really fun moment. So, congratulations on being a newlywed. Congratulations on your grand old Opry debut, which uh, what was it last oh month, right gosh. in September? I cannot believe it has been a month since I played the Opry. It feels like it was just yesterday. And congratulations on. A new single, Us. It's fantastic. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm so, so happy with the way people have received the song. You know, I mean, it came out at the beginning of October, but um, we went for ads at Ray Week, and it actually ended up being the number one most added song. Tell our listeners and, and viewers what that means, because that's a big deal. Yeah, it means that my song was the song in country music that the radio station started playing on that day, um, which is a pretty big deal because there was a lot of uh, big names around there. So it, it was cool. Very, very sweet. Um, the song is called Us. It, it's, it's fantastic. I think you're going to be hearing a lot of it on uh, Bigfoot Country Radio and, and uh, stations across America. And, uh, but it's not your, first, so. not your first single. You've had uh, one or two other ones out, correct? You know what? It's my, actually, it's my first single to country radio. I okay. released a lot of music over the last um, you know, couple of years, but I signed my record deal on March 3rd of last year. So it was a little inconveniently timed. Um, so we we kind of put a pin in everything, and then we finally got in the studio late last year and recorded some stuff. And now it's time for it to start getting released. So it's it's been really fun. What did that mean for you that the, the pandemic? I mean, I mean, established artist, you know, it's kind of a bump in the road. Yeah. But when you're a brand new artist, yeah. just starting out and got your whole plan ready to go and then boom what happened you know what it's kind of interesting because it was almost just early enough that we hadn't got in the studio we hadn't released a song to radio so we were able to really take that time to game plan get to know one another um really get to know for me to get to know my team and that's why it feels like this release is really strong because we had a lot of downtime to just make sure we had all our ducks in a row and that the release plan was really strong and the strategy was really strong. Plus, I'm, I'm guessing everybody that I've talked to, they use that time, like you said, uh, to really uh, take their creativity kind of to a next level and, and take the exactly. time to tweak it and finesse it and make it just the way yeah. you want it. Yeah, and it gave us time to really live with those songs and and feel very strongly about us being the first single, you know, because as you know how it is, it's a, you get new music and then you're like, should it be something else? But it was, it was a really good sign to us because 
we always stayed the course with that song. We were like, no, there's just something special here, and this this song needs to needs to have a life. It's a great song. Let's go ahead and hear it right now. Today we're talking to Hannah Ellis. This is the single "Us" on Bigfoot Country Radio. We both know that you're better than this than I am. I'm just starting. Well, that's true too, but we won't even go there. Bigfoot Country Radio, Lee Ritchie with you. Hannah Ellis is my guest, and uh, that was Us, the a brand new single. Tell us about the song. Where, where did that come from? You know, um, I went into the room, I think it was late 2019, and we were talking about the fact that my now husband and I, we were just dating at the time, but how we've been together for seven years. So a lot of our friends only know us together. And, and I was talking about how funny it would be if, ever anybody saw us not together because they were really, that's weird. It just doesn't make any sense to right. have one without the other. And and so we started talking about those things in, in the world and in life that just make sense together. And, and this song just kind of started pouring out. And as, as we were writing it, it was really important to me that we said things that resonated with my story. So, you know, when it talks about a dive bar and smoke and the church and amen, you know, Nick and I, we go to church together, but also we met hanging out at dive bars across the street from where we both lived. So oh, cool. It's cool to have these little pieces of our story woven into it. And the, the, the chorus, the, the, the us part, it's just such a catchy hook. I mean, I just can't get it out of my head. <laughs> Yay! Hey, that's so, what I like to hear. <laughs> so uh, having said that, it must have been as much fun to make the video as it is watching it. It's a great oh, okay. video. It was so much fun. We had a blast and I love my band. Those guys are amazing. And then at the end of the video, it really is Nick, my husband pulling up in his truck. I, I thought so. Yeah. Me up. And, and that was like a really intentional thing for me because I was like, that's what this is about. It really is so many times I'm leaving and he's coming home or he's coming home and I'm leaving because we both do music and, um, even, you know, last night I, I flew in from LA and 
he came and picked me up at the airport in his truck. And it's every time it now it's really funny how much more even that little moment means to me. Cause I'm like, Oh, it's like Aww. encapsulated in a song now, you know, that's fantastic. We're talking to Hannah Ellis. Uh, the song is us on curb records. Now you're from Campbell's Campbellsville, Kentucky, right? Which, which uh-huh. isn't, isn't that far from Nashville, but probably growing no. up, it se- probably seemed like another world. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, anytime we got to come to Nashville as a child, it was a big deal. Mm-hmm. You know, the uh, Opryland used to be here, and that our parents would bring us down to go there to the theme park that they had there, and I have pictures somewhere that exist in me and my little like cowboy hat and <laughs> blue jean shirt and blue jeans. And right. It was it was fun. It was an awesome experience to come down here. Have you you've been singing forever? When when did you really think oh, yeah. like this is what I want to do? This is what I want to do for a living. You know, it was right. It was right before I graduated high school and was about to go to college, and I had a full ride scholarship. So when I had, a, had this epiphany and told my parents that I wanted to sing for a living, they were like, <laughs> "Yes, we support this, uh-huh. and you also go to school. It's free." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, fine." So. So they did. They they really supported me uh, through that journey. And I went to college. And again, to your point, because it's not super far from Nashville, I was able to come down to Nashville all through college. I would try to schedule my classes Tuesday through Thursday to really give myself time to be in Nashville as much as possible. And, and when did you decide that you needed to be there full time? I graduated from the University of Kentucky um, in December of 2012. And I moved here in February of 2013. So that was, it was always the plan. I always knew where I was going. So did you move to Nashville and then the next day walk into Curb Records and sign a contract? (laughs) Bailey, how did you know that that was how it went? Is that how it went? That's how I heard it went. No, No, you know, I moved here and I just immersed myself in the community and started writing as much as possible. And and, um, in 2015 is when I signed my publishing deal at Word Entertainment or Mm -hmm. Word Country. Sure. And um, a couple of years later, Curb bought Word, and so I kind of got grandfathered into writing for them. And through being on their publishing side, I met a lot of the people within the building. I got to meet Mike, and um, it just made sense. It, it's been my home for a long time, and so to just make it my home full out was, was just the best idea. That's awesome. Well, congratulations, and good luck with everything. We're talking to Hannah Ellis. The single is Us. And I was doing my homework, you know, last night, which consists of yeah. you- YouTube videos. And I found right. a, a, oh, I found a great a video of you singing Mary Did You Know. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? And this child that you've delivered will soon deliver you. And by the yeah. way, that, it, it's just breathtaking. I, I love it. So oh, thank you. So I, st- I wanted to ask you, are you going to record a Christmas song? And then lo and behold, this morning, <laughs> I, I saw that you, like, um, yeah, I saw that you recorded home with uh, stars go dim. Tell us about that. Oh my gosh. You know, um, I write 99% of anything I'm singing on a road. Obviously I didn't write Mary. Did you know? But, um, when they sent me this song, Chris of stars go dim, when, when he sent this song over, it just took my breath away. It, anybody that knows me knows how important home is to me and my family. And um, when I heard this, it just moved me so much. And I was like, immediately, yes, I can't wait to be part of this song. And the, we actually shot a music video for it that's coming out soon. And it is so dreamy. And it uh. just, uh, I love this song so much. I sent it to my family and they were like, are you trying to make us cry? I was like, yes, obviously. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we look forward to hearing a lot more of you down the road. Is us just the tip of an iceberg? Are you recording for an album or uh, doing anything? Oh, more? yeah. So we have actually an entire EP finished. Fantastic. Um, and I cannot wait for you guys to hear more of the songs. We have a game plan for release for the mm-hmm. top of next year. And um, I think I think everybody's 
Yeah, hopefully everybody's as excited as me. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, Hannah Ellis is my guest, hannahellismusic.com. Folks can get a copy of us if they want from the usual streaming and yeah. downloading platforms. That's right. Anywhere you listen to music, it's there. It, I know it, it's tough. You mentioned you've got a plan. And, and I thought to myself, ooh, it's tough to make a plan these days. <laughs> but That's right. That's but, right. But considering the world stays semi-normal, you're going to get out on the road, too, and do right. some shows and things like that? You know, that's the goal right now. It's a lot of radio focus. So we're playing uh -huh. a lot of radio shows, which I love. I'm getting to go to places I've never been and meet people that I haven't met before. And um, it's been a blast so far. It really has. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so yeah. much for taking time for us. And uh, you, get up, for me you today. get up to New York, please stop by. The door's always open. Oh, I definitely will. I definitely will have to. The song is Us, Hannah Ellis. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Us, like coming.